One hour later. Okay, so let's see, where did I leave off? Um, one thing I wanted to point out, it suddenly occurs to me, I was looking at the, the box and I looked at this thing and I realized, you remember how I was talking about the cabin for the, for the, the vehicle mode? lifting up or whatever it is. Well, I'm looking at the picture over here and it suddenly occurs to me that's the only reason why the cabin moves is to lock this down. Because in vehicle mode it's the cabin of the vehicle and then in robot mode it's just vehicle mode kibble sitting on the side. So literally the only reason that lifts up is to hold the chest chest plate in, in place in, in, uh, in uh, bird mode. Also, I should point out that, uh, actually, I might have done that already, but uh, I'll say it again, because here it is, you know, how, how, how many minutes later? Um, really big backside, and then you got the tail right here. Now, here's my question. If I take the missile off, can I take the missile off and leave the tail on? That's my question. I suspect the answer is no, because the tail is tied directly, or is pinned directly to the tail. But the question remains if I can actually take take this off and then, well, maybe. There's another slot here, which may serve the same function. It won't be in the exact same place. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, yeah, so you can actually. Okay, so there you go. So you actually can put the tail on there and still have these stupid things hanging down. Uh, you can put the tail on here and uh, in the bird mode. So yeah, because it seems to me that the missile is located. Yeah, the missile splits the difference. Oh, okay. So the G1 version, the the missiles does split in half. Okay. So then the question becomes, if this version can do exactly the same thing. Also, I want to check to see what kind of animal this is. So then the warhead goes on the underside, which, yes, this version very much can. So the warhead sits on the bottom with its very poor friction, I should point out. And then the cannon should be able to fit on top somewhere. Oh, I guess I would just, you know, default to having this. Well, is that true? Yeah, because, oh, yeah, actually that clips onto there and then the tail pegs into there so I guess okay so like you 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 can do the mm, let's see so it is possible then to actually put the missile on the underside like the G1 version and the gun on the top like the original version but I'm kind of stressing you can see that the can is slightly off center and the head is slightly off so maybe I should turn it like this and then it'll be then you could put the cannon on top hmm Okay. Oh God. I've waited an hour and a half, whatever it is, and now I need to actually, actually go through transforming this thing. Oh, that me again. And I'm especially worried about the. Uh, or yeah, I'm worried about the knee. Well, no, actually, popping the knee out, the right knee out, is not going to be a problem. And of course, you're removing it. But what I'm worried about now is if I have to open up the. Uh, of course, it starts from robot mode. Why wouldn't it? I guess that makes sense to a degree. Let's get this missile, this ICBM reassembled. Reseal that. Left first, then the right. I really like the way those wings fold up. That's nice. Uh, I really don't want to mess with this. I really, really, really don't. Maybe this will be the only time that I ever make the bird mode. Well, presumably getting the, the, the knees out of there will be easier than putting them in. But still, it's like all the effort I put into getting it in there, now i got to undo it. Wow, both, both knee joints popped out the instant I did that. Takes forever to put them in, and they just pop out instantly as soon as I try to undo it. Looks like when you, you just start in robot mode the way you normally do, and then 
with the knees fully extended once again, which I guess I need to take these apart anyways in order to do that. Oh, maybe that's why the hips were, were ratcheting joints. Maybe. Maybe. Instead of pegging into the side of the um, the hips, or the side of the pelvis is the case, or no, it's the, actually it's the side of the lower torso. Uh, instead of pegging in there, now you want to peg into a slot, an identical slot, on the side of the thighs. Although which one, I'm not certain. It does not specify, and that's frustrating. Because <sighs> you kind of have to use those thigh joints, or you kind of have to use those blasted knee guards again, but I don't know which slot to slot these into. It doesn't specify. Hmm. So which one do I aim for? You know, I think I would much rather, instead of dealing with this stupid double knee joint that you're not even going to use in robot mode, instead of that, I would have much preferred um, if it had been telescoping. Telescoping into the, into the, the, the legs or whatever it is. I would have much preferred at this point. Oh, I think I'm missing something by not having the arms in the proper positions. Okay. I can learn my lesson. Boy, it's so convenient the way those bird legs fall away. That's really, really nice. I do like that. Yes. Get in there. Get in there. Are we really going to do this twice? I mean, really? It's not even the same joint in the same area. It's something entirely different this time. Okay, is it even going in? No, it's not. God, this is a pain in the fingertips. Here it is again. One leg did go succeed in going in, but the other didn't. Oh, come on. Double dealer, you are seriously... A pain in the ass. As soon as I secure one side, the other side pops out. Of course. I assume the head is going to be hidden, but I'm not certain. I don't think it is, and that concerns me. Nope, we're going to have a healthy dose of visible head syndrome here. Light piping? No. Okay. That's one of the oldest transformations in the book. Flip the uh, flip the elbows around 180 degrees, and then just peg them in in this manner. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book, but hey, if it works. Oh wow, is there a joint here I totally didn't know about? Wait, is there another two different joints in the same location? What? Oh wow, I didn't know that was there. Wow, they've got they've got two different shoulder transformations in the same place. Huh. Okay. Okay, but we got a problem now because those wings are really, really sticking out on the bottom. How are they going to... I don't understand. Wait a minute. How do they take care of the wings on the bottom? They're sticking out so badly. How do they... Well, they can't be serious. Are they just going to expect it? Hang on. How do they take care of the wings? How do they take care of the wings? What's, What's going on here? Okay, but I don't understand how they, how, how do they take care of the wings? Because the wings are all sticking out on the bottom, but it uh, doesn't address the issue. Yeah, how, 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 how do they take care of the wings here? I'm not, I am not convinced. Oh, I wonder. Oh, okay, alright, so... What happened is I couldn't I couldn't get the wings perfectly flush. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't get them all the way down. And then it occurred to me, well, when it came out of the box, this these feather tips were originally up. You're supposed to fold them down. 
So I wondered, maybe I have to do exactly the same thing on the inside. Push these down, close that up. There it is. Now it's now it's nice and even. Now it's not going to snap into position, but it will. Um, it's it, it, it's not going to snap into position, but it will get the wings to rest flat. Okay, so you actually have to fold the wing wing tips out. Oh, so then the wing tips don't get flipped around all the time. Hmm. Okay. This stupid thing yet again. Okay. And there you have a much more convincing ICBM launching truck, or whatever it is, missile launching truck. It says ICBM in the, the wiki, so. And I must say, this is much more convincing of a... Hello, why are you resisting? Yeah, it's probably one of those small tolerances you can't do anything about. Okay. What was I saying? I don't remember. So the the knees are just overly complicated. I think they tried to be clever with the transformation and it just doesn't work. It should and, and I don't know what the I don't remember what the the G1 version did for the knees. Seems to me it doesn't do that. Yeah, I think the knees had a swivel feature and and that's all well and good. But that being said, um, the way they did it here, yeah, I mean, there's no way it would have been that complicated. It's just it's just a simple knee joint back and forth. This had the potential to be one of the more poseable figures, but it's not, so whatever. But anyways. Special care should be taken when transforming him into bird mode. It involves a staircase motion that pushes his double jointed knee joints in one direction while pushing his lower legs in the opposite direction. And if exit force is used, the lower legs can pop out of the knee assembly and are subsequently very difficult to reattach. Ooh, I wonder if those are... Oh, I see what they're saying. I'm glad I'm seeing that after the fact. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, this certainly is the more convincing of the two modes. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that one. Although, I'm noticing here, both in the wiki and on the box, that the primary color is not now, unless they changed the photography or whatever it is. The coloring here is a little more of a. Um, I'll say a sea green. I don't know if that's coming across to you guys, but that's uh, that's actually pretty close to uh, to what I'm seeing right now. So okay, I guess I guess uh, never mind. I guess it's gonna say, "Oh, great, another color that doesn't match perfectly." But uh, yeah, this is pretty good. And then if you want to do the uh, the war for Cybertron thing. Let's see, you do this, this goes down like this, and these finally, finally get used for the first and thus far only time. You finally move the stabilizers out, and they're shit useless as a direct result, I should point out. Just, they don't do anything. Like, you actually want to have them out to the sides like this, and you'd want to have a second pair out here. But anyways, um, and then you just fold this up like this. Uh, interestingly enough, you know, I just realized, I just realized, here's his head right here, but you can't see his face, unless you fold this down, and then, oops, sorry, ah, there's his face right there, but then you can use this panel, or this lever, or whatever it is, to actually cover up his face, so even though the top of his head is still visible, you can't see the, uh, why is this tilting? What happened? Oh, don't tell me the bloody panel came out again. Yeah, it came out again. I don't even... Those knees are just far more trouble than they're worth. What's well, good to know you can remove the missile easily. No, I'm just saying. Okay. So you can peg the missile in like that, which is good. 
Oh, I see. It looks like it's deliberately tilted at a at an odd angle or whatever it is, which is fine. That's okay. So here is his other mode, or it's his city mode, I guess, or whatever it is. It's just like that. And then, if you notice the pattern at the end of the tail or the blast shield or whatever it is, or um, what would it be called? I don't know. You can take another War for Cybertron figure, whether it's from Earthrise or, uh, or no, I'm sorry, from either Siege or Earthrise, either one. And then you can peg it into the eek, peg it into the tail, and then you can have these all link up together. Obviously, uh, Astra Trains, which we call it, only has the two on either side. And then I still have uh, Ironworks that I could peg in there. But yeah, that's it's kind of the beginnings of your uh, um, city mode or whatever city state or whatever you want to call it. The interesting thing about it is, just because of the two toys I've specifically chosen here, uh, I've got actually got two rockets right next to each other, if you think about it. Two, two rocket launch pads. Because I've got a space shuttle launch pad here, and then I've got an ICBM launch pad here. How about that? So I paused recording for about seven or minutes just so I could transform Master Train over here into a shuttle mode, just so I could prove my point. There you go. I've actually got two, two rockets at the same time. Actually, I could just turn it like that or something like that. But anyways, yeah, I've got I've got two two rocket launch pads at the same time. So, yee. you know, at the end of the day, Double Deal is really not a complicated figure. It's really not. I mean, I know where everything goes. The only, I think maybe the only complicated thing is like the 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 way the torso panels and the arms kind of flip around, and that's it. It's just it's that bloody knee joints that you have to go through. I'll say it again. I think I think it would better if it would have been better if they'd done a telescoping joint in there, versus sticking a, um, you know, some sort of weird double or triple jointed knees in there. That that because it's like the more joints you have in there, in in any transformation process, the more joints that you have. The more things can go wrong, the more things that collapse in and you end up putting pressure on things where you're really not supposed to. And so this is a perfect example of why you shouldn't do that. And this just popped up again. I'm really tired of that. So yeah, I don't know how the G1 version handled it, but definitely this version, um, such a pain in the ass. Or rather, a pain in the fingertips. Just really, really just... I mean, he look he looks good in the in the uh, was it the ICBM mode? Um, he looks oh here it comes here it comes yep this is what I was worried about. I am not using my my fingernails there no. Yep here's the thing I was fearing most is like when I have to get those fists out of there, what is going to happen? Okay so I'm gonna stick the radar thing in there and that took a bit of effort, but I'm glad it came out. Yep, that is the thing I was worried about, is what happens when, you don't even, you know, the weird thing is you don't even need the hands to, or the wrists to snap into the position when it's transformed. You don't need that to happen, but they do for some weird reason. Anyways, um, I think this is a case of, uh, less is more. When you get too many joints involved in any kind of trans—I mean, any kind of transforming toy—the more joints you have in a single area, the more complicated it is to transform. The more, the more challenging it becomes. Yeah, you might get a, a kind of the accordion effect, I guess I'll say, of transformations. You can only do that so much before you start compromising. Uh, you can only pack so many joints into a single area before those adult collectors start saying, yeah, my fingertips are hurting, you know? And that's exactly what happens here. There are too many joints packed into too small of an area, and it, it actually compromises the uh, it compromises the final product. Yeah, I mean, they need the knees to turn to the side. Okay, they need that to happen. Okay, fine, I understand that that's fine. But what I don't understand is what you're doing essentially is you're taking it from here and you're sliding it up. You're sliding it up about a centimeter or two, okay? That's that's an easy telescoping maneuver. And I should point out, as soon as I get the other leg out of here, 
Why do they have those like that? I don't even. And the other thing is the inside of the leg is, well, you just got to, there's a lot of empty space in here, okay? You could easily have this telescope. I mean, yes, you do need to keep the, uh, the, the turning joint here, okay? You do have to keep the knee joint turning to the side. That's okay, that's fine. That was in the G1 version. But they added in an extra joint in there. Uh, they tried to take a, take advantage of the knee joint, and it just it threw the whole formula off to the point where I spent half an hour on one step. I hate it when I have to deal with transformers where I get stuck in one spot. As as an almost thirty nine year old, when I get stuck on a situation like that, I'm like, give me a fucking break, please. Also, um. This thing can go get a job, you know. It's, uh, I don't know, I, th I think they could have handled that a little better. I keep mentioning the G1 version. Let me, let me see what the G1 version did. The G1 version even have that? I don't think it did. Um, no, it didn't. I don't, th I don't know if the missile launcher had the ability to point upwards. I think that's new for, yeah, it doesn't say. And I don't know, I don't know G1 well enough to be able to decide whether, uh, whether that can fold around or not. You know, those are joints right there, but they don't have them there. I kind of wish this guy was a, uh, was a, um, um, oh, what, what, what were they called? Micromaster, um, not a target master, but I wish you know, I wish they'd had the, the micromaster so you could plug them into the torso and it changes his allegiance or whatever it is. I kind of wish they brought that back. They didn't, but I wish they had. It's a pretty, uh, pretty nice gimmick. But yeah, I, I think those, far and away, those knee joints are just the biggest pain in the ass. By a long shot. And I am not thrilled with that. No. Unless he's got a bunch of little extra guns he never uses. So put that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having extra weapons to play around with, but that being said, especially when they're this small, like here, here, here's an example of the smallest that Astro Train offers up is right there, okay? And this is the biggest that you have. And I'm like, oh come on. Now probably the G1 version probably did have it. No, G1 version did not have this. No, it didn't. So why 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 do they even include these? Uh, I think they got a little carried away with the accessories, a bunch of extra guns that were never on the G1 version, at least as far as I've read. And then uh, those knees just <sighs> such a pain in the fingertips, such a hassle. And then they. And then they tell you to take the, the stabilizers and turn them out to the sides. Why would you do that? It's just, it's just more clutter. He, it's just more clutter you don't need. Just, just, just don't. Just, just fold them away. Yeah. And the friction on them is so weak. Okay. Aside from the knees. And what was the other thing that was bothering me? Yeah, I think the knees are probably the most convol convoluted thing that you have to deal with. Um, aside from that, final thoughts on this. Um, it feels feels lightweight for its for its size. Uh, honestly, surprised that they have uh, um, ratcheting in the hips. I don't know why, but. I suppose, you know, now that I've struggled with the knees so much and put so much pressure, undue pressure on those knees, um, maybe there's a reason why they did that. I'm, I'm not entirely certain. I like the proportions. I like, I like he has bigger legs, or he, or, I'm sorry, he has wider legs. Or, no, wrong word. He, he, he has legs that are bigger in diameter, you know, so I'm, I'm glad about that. And then he's got, he's still got muscular arms, but his arms are not as big as his legs are, if that if that makes any sense. Um, 
So I, I like the proportions. I like that he's barrel chested. It, it, it definitely gives Double Dealer um, a different vibe from uh, just from Master Train, who has really small arms and really thick legs and a really thick torso. This guy is built a little differently, and like, yeah, okay, I, I I I can appreciate this guy a little more because his actually his torso is it, it, his his chest is broader. Or his torso is broader, but he's also uh, he's also more barrel chested. So uh, it, it's definitely a, a different a different vibe happening here. These stupid little things on the side. That panel is going to get lost so easily. Just mm. I think I could give this guy a four out of five, just because like I struggled I struggled with it so much. Just ugh. um. The bird mode by itself is, it's not bad. It's its kind of, I mean, it, it, it's the least convincing of the three modes just because it has the whole nose of a, of, a, of, a, of a heavy lift truck on the back of it that's very much upside down and whatever. Um, so, like, if you can forgive that, then it's fine. Um, I can't really say that I would do much damage different with the the bird mode or whatever it is although um you know you still you still have to contend with these things you have to contend with these in all three modes and it's really it, it's it's annoying um you know i wonder i wonder if i can cheat this a little bit and turn it into like a shield or something because i just i just I, I need to do something with it and it's just bothering me this this is this is so much unnecessary you know I just I just feel like they could have they could have integrated this somewhere in here a little better than they did because it is good to have the stabilizer arms where the rocket is folded up in the in the the truck motor whatever it is but after that this kind of becomes a pain in the ass except that it's a tail you know, so whatever. I mean, I, I like the texture on it, whatever. And I also think it's clever the way they integrated the, I think it's called the airlock system, which is the connection points there. I think the, the way they, they snuck that in there, like, okay, all right, I'll, I'll give you that. But um, I'm having to, like, I have to unpeg it and stick it somewhere else every single time. And it's just... Ugh. And that's not even including the, 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 the little gun that sits up here, the radar turret, and then the two tiny-ass missile launchers or grenade launchers are sitting on this side here. Just, ugh. No, they're too big to be able to peg into any of the holes. Lame. So yeah, this thing is going to end up being like... This This is probably the part that's going to get lost the easiest, despite the size of it. I was like, this is the part that I, I just don't want to bother with it. Honestly, just... Ugh. Uh, the truck mode is, is, is fine, you know, whatever. Okay. I don't regret getting him. He's just, in, he's just, I'll say it again, he's just a pain in the fingertips. You know. There's, it's mostly intuitive, but I'll say it one more time. Just one more time. The way they dealt with the knees, it should have been telescoping. Even if, even if it was just a couple of, uh, you know, just, just the up and then down and then that's it. Um, the way those knees were dealt with, I'm not happy at all with it. And you have to do it because it's the only way that you can peg certain things into certain locations. And if you don't do it, then the, the nose or the, the legs are unsecured in either of the alternate modes. And that, that, that really bothers me. I, I like it. I like, I like the look of it in all three modes. And then it's got little bonus weapons and eh, whatever, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's just the high of. I was reading the high of Astro Train, and then, I, and then like a week later or whatever it is, I get into this, and it's like, why are you being so difficult? So, I do like though that in the uh, in the uh, the missile truck mode, I do like that uh, the head is covered up by a panel. I do, or no, I'm sorry, the the face is covered up by. It's like a visor. It just comes over the top and covers up, so you can still see the top of his head, but you can't see his face. And so, really, if it's it. Technically, it is visible head, drum, visible head syndrome, but you can't see his face. So is it still really, does that still count? I don't know. I don't imagine I'll be changing him into bird mode very often, though. 
Which is ironic, considering I actually like that mode better of the three. I like the truck mode, whatever. But, like, personal preference, I kind of like the bird mode better. Well, I don't anymore. <laughs> the whole reason they... Oops. Oh, this thing. And the whole reason that those knees are such a pain in the fingertips is so that the... Because they said they say to take advantage of the knee joint right there. It's the only reason it does that. They're like, you know, we've got this swivel thing here. I mean, the original the original version, it was so easy. All they had to do was, well, I don't know how they dealt with the feet in the original version. Um, I guess you just fold like that. You turn it like this, and then you flip it over like that. How many? And that's it, right there. It's the easiest transformation ever. Ever. It, this, it's so G1. It's, it, this, is, this is such a simple thing to do. And all it took is one extra joint in the knee to fuck that up. Just one. The more joints you add, and I said it earlier, the more joints you add in a single area, the more convoluted and accordion lane, the more complicated it becomes. All you had to do was just have this, this block right here, just have a telescope. That it just had to go like a centimeter or two, and then that was it. You would have you would have heard nothing from me. No no complaints from me whatsoever. Bam, it would have been done. It would have been fine. You know, I, I like getting transformers with telescoping limbs. I mean, I'm I'm not hugely opposed to it. It's it's old school. Like mm, okay, whatever, I can live with it. But the way they did it here with this complicated S-shaped joint just <laughs> now I've edited down the transformation so you don't have to sit there and watch me argh, for the whole half hour that it took me to transform the damn thing but I just want it on the record it took me almost half an hour to go from robot mode into bird mode and it was specifically because of those knee joints I spent maybe 20-25 minutes just on that one knee joint and that was not even taking into account having to pause the video or pause the recordings and watch four different videos to check to make certain that I was reading the instructions correctly because it wasn't doing the thing that I wanted it to do. Drink should be a little tighter on this too. I mean this is the 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 the, the shoulder is okay but the the elbow is almost nothing and I, I can't even I can't even like screw in the joint a little tighter or unscrew it and stick some uh, some super glue or, or, or I won't say vinyl and varnish that's totally wrong maybe it is vinyl no something um, like clear nail polish or something stick that in there that's what I want to do with a number of the joints but I can't I'm just kind of so eh. he definitely looks like his G1 self I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with that pretty darn close uh, well, time to edit this monster. And so with that, this is AV Unit 4A saying thank you very much for tuning in.